All right, we're just going down the road. So this is going to be a basic flow or stretching routine that you can do in the morning to start out your day, or you can do it after a workout, or even before a workout, or even before bed. So this is something that's really not going to hurt you at all. It's not going to put you in any position to get injured. It's just some basic movements that are going to help you in key areas of your body, which we need the stretches, as well as overall sort of mobility like I said, in those key areas. So hopefully this helps you guys out. This should take only about five to 10 minutes maximum for you to work through, if that. So, we'll start out, we're gonna be doing some downward dog. And by no means do I expect perfection of form here, but the key is to get the stretch and the benefit from each movement. So, downward dog, you're gonna start out here. Hips high, you're gonna to wanna to push your weight back into those heels here, so sinking back. And I'm trying to keep my legs as straight as I can. So you should feel a stretch through the hamstrings and into the glutes, and then as you push your heel back, I like to say kind of pedal your heel back one at a time, keeping your back straight, head down, you're going to get a stretch through those calves. So this is a good one for those hamstrings, which tend to be tight on a lot of people pushing back here. And then we're going to come all the way down to our stomach, relaxing, pointing my toes, and you're going to come up. Roll those shoulders back, and if you need to, you can always come down here, make it a little bit less strenuous, or you can always walk your hands out a little bit. But throwing those shoulders back and rotating back a little bit. And then from there, you're gonna walk your hands and widen your feet back out into child's pose, keeping those arms straight. Try to elongate those arms as much as you can. And really try to sink down here. From there, we're going to come up. Sink down. Let that hip stretch out a bit. Keeping that core tight here. We don't want to overextend. Keep that core nice and tight. And then we'll switch to the other side. Sinking down through that hip, keeping that core tight. And then lastly, we're going to come on up. We're just going to relax over, keeping those legs as straight as you can. Try to keep that crown of the head down to the ground. Legs as straight as you can, like I said, you can even rotate over a little side to side. And that is it. So, like I said, nothing too crazy. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Give it a try. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. But otherwise, like I said, this should give you some guidance in the morning, before or after workout, or at night, just to really help get you moving a bit and do a few key dynamic things that will really help you out in the long run. Give it a shot, guys. Have a good one.